Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we are going to be doing another pack opening video because interestingly enough we've seen an old cartel pack hit the cartel market. Uh, surprisingly they chose the Gatekeeper Stronghold pack as for some reason one arbitrary pack that they decided to go ahead and put up on the cartel market. Uh, now since the Crisis on Embarra Flashpoint update has been delayed by a few days, I think we were supposed to get the newer cartel pack but now it seems like they won't be releasing it at least until they release the patch itself and uh, we don't even know if we'll be getting it during the patch, maybe we'll get it next Tuesday when the cartel market sales change but nonetheless as you guys can see here a hyper crate of the Gatekeeper Stronghold pack can contains 24 cartel packs and costs a very hefty 5400 cartel coins. So the question is, is this worth it? It's a really old cartel pack and everyone knows that the older cartel packs are some of the best, but is it still gonna, you know, hold up its worth nowadays when we have such high inflation? A lot of these items, you know, are worth, uh, some are worth a lot, some are not worth as much as they were. So we're gonna go ahead and open these cartel packs and right from the start you guys can see here that we are getting way more items than usual. One of the prize items from this pack is actually a cartel market certificate. Those are not available anymore. You can only get them out of the older packs. Uh, some of the other stuff we have obviously the decorations, the crystals, and then another interesting thing to keep in mind is you actually do get three items out of these packs. You get two items from the cartel pack and then one decoration. So they treat decorations as being kind of an outside item. And that's one of the reasons I actually wanted to open this cartel pack in the first place because they actually do give decorations. As you guys can see here, they give you multiple decorations. So I got two corporate lobby rugs rather than just one. So Bioware's kind of, I guess, chickened out with the newer cartel packs. They only give us one decoration. The decoration counts as an item and everything but this time around they were actually this was when they first introduced stronghold so they were really giving us a lot of decos here once again as you guys can see we have two holographic trees and uh, in, in a normal cartel pack nowadays we would we would have only gotten one even if it was only bronze or silver rarity um, and also looking here I'm hoping for some of the good silver stuff oh we got our first gold item let's see what it's gonna be oh boom right there the Satil Sean boots guys that's like one of the best items to get out of this pack and then also another cartel market certificate that's awesome that's definitely going to make this pack uh, opening worth it just right now and here the boots themselves sell for like 30 40 million credits easily i've sold quite a few of them at that price so uh, that's pretty awesome but um as you guys also saw there uh, they don't come in upper lower or supplementary at least all of them don't uh, I know the Reavers will, some of the other kind of silver and bronze stuff will, like right here the Malak Shadow came as an upper body armor, but interestingly enough, a lot of the gold stuff, like the Satil Shan, it'll come as individual pieces. And that's kind of what I don't like about this uh, cartel pack, because as you guys saw, I got the um, Satil Shan boots, that's awesome, right? That's one of the rarest items. I could have also just gotten the Satil Shan pants, for example. Uh, they have the same rarity, they're both gold. Um, I think they would have the same drop rate, but obviously they're not worth the same amount of credits. Here's one of the things I was hoping for, the Reaver. Now the Reaver is a silver armor set. It comes with an upper, lower, and supplementary, which is awesome. That That is just like awesome. I mean, that is a really good armor set. Oh wow, and we got the supplementary as well. So the supplementary and the upper, those easily sell for millions of credits on the GTN. They sell really well. It's overall a, an insanely popular armor set. And so this cartel pack in general has some really nice old stuff. The decorations sell great. A lot of the silver items actually sell really well as well. Uh, but then there's also a lot of crap, which I haven't been kind of mentioning here. But for example, this is crystal, like even back in the day, Bioware was introducing some really wacky crystals that didn't do too well. Um, let's see if we got, yeah, more crap. We got the Series 16, which isn't too great. Some Colto Barrel decorations, which aren't bad, but they're definitely not some of the nicest decorations. And then we have these pets that don't often go for much. So uh, there is a lot of crap you gotta keep in mind. This also has the very infamous Socorro blasters. Uh, yeah, here we go, we got one right here. Uh, those are some of the worst weapon designs ever introduced into the game. They do so terrible on the GTN. I have yet to see one person in the game actually using them. Uh, they were a complete and utter failure. But um, yeah, so that's kind of crap that's going to keep dropping out of here. But aside from that, there is a, also really nice stuff. So uh, it's kind of a double-edged sword. But uh, one of the primary reasons they even decided to do a pack opening in the first place was because this also drops your reput reputation. I'll talk about that at the end of this video. That's interesting. The XR Kuhn, although this is a silver armor set, for some reason they decided that it would only come as single pieces. So similar to the Satil Shan, you'll only get the boots or you'll only get the belt. And from that particular armor set, you only really want the upper body armor. That's the only thing that's kind of worth it. 
see, yeah, here we go, straight crap. I mean, the office chair is okay, but the mount is bad, the slicer is bad. So, uh, you know, the old cartel packs are awesome. It's just that they have, you know, they're very polarized. They have either really good items or really crappy items. Uh, but one thing I really like is just the volume of items you get out of here. I mean, they really made packs worth it. You not only get cartel market certificates, you also get reputation. You also get tons of really cool decorations and armor sets and stuff. It really kind of made you feel like a hyper crate is kind of worth getting. But uh, the newer cartel packs don't have that feel whatsoever. They give you like Jawa junk no one cares about and decals no one cares about. This one at least gives you cartel marker certificates and reputation. But I'll save that discussion for the end. I'll focus more kind of on what I'm actually getting out of these packs right now. Although at the moment it's looking like a lot of crap. The yeah, Rocky Hawk. Uh, come on, where's the gold stuff? I've gotten like one gold item so far. And the Malak Shadow. So that's one thing. The Re Reavers and the Malak Shadow. Both silver armor sets and both really rare and expensive on the GTN. And they're just super nice in general if you want to collect it and use it for yourself. Oh, here we go. We got our gold item. Come on, what's it going to be? Ah, there we go. That's what I was talking about earlier. This It's the Teal Sean, but it's only the belt. Um, and so that's gonna sell for like 1 million. So look at that, right? This is, they're both gold items, but one of them will sell for 1 million, the other one will sell for like 30 to 40 million. Here we've got another gold one, it is the Mentellian Privateer. This one's similar to, oh, this one actually comes as an upper and low end supplementary. So it's kind of arbitrary, I'm not sure how Bioware chose that, but the Mentellian Privateer is a, also a really good gold armor set uh, that comes out of this pack, but it's, uh, you only really want the upper. The upper is the one that's going to sell the most on the GTN because it exposes your torso and that's kind of rare and, and desirable in the game so far. Uh, here we got another gold item, the small statue of ancient horror. I've got to see how much that actually sells for. It's, it's a rather nice decoration though, I might end up using it. And then more Reaver stuff, that's always good. And cartel market certificates as well. So there we go, like this is kind of why the older packs are often hailed as some of the better packs that were ever introduced. They really gave you a lot of stuff that was good, you know. You're getting cartel mark certificates here and there. And look at the RNG here, like we're getting tons of gold uh, gold pieces right now. Uh, we got the Arrangement Executives Lounge, that is not a decoration I have. And the um, Mentellian Privateer. So we got the supplementary there, so that's not going to be too good, but at least it was a gold item nonetheless. The RNG was definitely better with the older packs. Uh, we got another gold item here, I guess, just to prove my point. Uh, another arrangement executives lounge. I, I don't know how that looks, so we'll check that out at the end. And another gold item, this is insane. Um, but it's another Mentellian privateer supplementary. So we're getting lucky with a lot of gold items, but they're not some of the better gold items from the pack. Uh, the statue of the emperor is a really, really good gold item. Obviously the Satil Shan's tunic or the boots is a really good gold item as well. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, here we go, another gold item. It is the uh, Stronghold label, Vacation Retreat. I did not know there was a Stronghold label that was the gold rarity and that um, it came out of this pack. I guess we'll have to see that and check it out how much it's worth on the GTN afterward. I would assume it go sells for a lot if it's a, if it's a gold Stronghold label because I've never seen those in the game so far. All right, more junk. I don't know, maybe our luck's ran out with this one. We got a lot of gold items. One more pack remaining. Let's see if we can pull out something even more amazing. Nah, just the normal stuff. Um, just kind of the normal junk. So anyways, there we go. That is the pack opening, guys. That was insane. All right, so here we are. I've claimed all the kind of the gold stuff uh, that we got. And here's the arrangement executives lounge. This is the one thing that um, uh, I was kind of excited for. Uh, it, it looks okay, I was kind of expecting something a little bit better, but we'll have to see what it sells from the GTN. I'll claim one of course anyway just to have it I guess in my collection. We'll run over to the GTN just to check some prices, see uh, what the stuff's actually going for. Because keep in mind the Gatekeepers pack is really old, uh, and so uh, here we go, like 10 million credits, yeah. That's about the best you could kind of hope for for a gold decoration, unless it's like one of the really rare ones that sells for a lot. And here we go, like the Mentellian Privateer Supplementary won't sell for much, but the Upper will go for considerably more. Uh, because it, of course, exposes your torso and people like those, that kind of armor. And here's this Atil Sean belt going for like a million, but the boots, the boots go for like, they actually sell at these prices. I know people auction them up, put them up for that, but they sell really well at that price. Uh, here we've got another decoration. This one's also 10 million credits. It's that same guy. He's, uh, he seems to have all the gold decorations from this pack and he's putting them all up for 10 million. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if they sell at that price, but I'll definitely use it nonetheless, probably. And here we go, the Stronghold label. Let's see what this one's worth. 
Uh, I'm kind of excited. Maybe it's really, really high. Okay, like 20 million-ish credits. I'd love to see if it actually sells at that price, but um, but it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, a gold stronghold label for a vacation retreat. That would work really well for the Minhan stronghold in particular. All right, and then, of course, uh, one of the other really good things about these old packs are the... Um, as I was talking about earlier, are the volume of items you get from it. It really kind of makes you feel like you got a lot of stuff. Uh, so here we go, we got like this crystal. It looks pretty nice, but um, I don't think it sells for a lot on the GTN. Here, of course, we're getting a lot of decorations, like huge, huge volumes, because each decoration you get, they give you like two or four of it. And I'm not sure why they stopped doing that. I mean, that was awesome. Because decorations, you need a lot of them. You have so many strongholds, they're all kind of huge and big, and you kind of need a lot, especially if you want like symmetry and stuff. And then, of course, the cartel market certificates are another huge bonus of opening these old packs. Uh, you can convert cartel market certificates to credits by buying decorations. Each cartel market certificate is worth around 3 to 4 million credits, if not more. So that right there is like close to 15 to 20 million credits worth of cartel market certificates. Um, so that's another kind of big plus of opening these old packs. And then, of course, you have the reputation items, uh, which I'll claim from here as well. And kind of going through, we just have a lot of these really cool decorations and um, I'm kind of claiming the ones I don't have. So it's great for decoration collectors who uh, want some of this old stuff and uh, didn't have a chance to get it back in the day. Maybe they weren't playing, maybe they're just kind, of, uh, just kind of new players who joined recently. And here's some of the decoration stuff. I'm glad I don't have it. Uh, that's one of the things I don't like about opening some of the other sh uh, packs that, that they reintroduce back because uh, one of the huge parts is getting reputation up and I'll, I'll talk about why later but basically it's because you can go to the uh, vendors at the cartel bazaar and those vendors offer some of the rarest items in the game but the, the restriction is that you need to get a certain reputation and you also need to have cartel market certificates but if you have enough, if, if you've opened enough of these packs you can get some of the rarest items in the game uh, that's how I've gotten the Revan's Mask, the Nihilus Mask, the, oh, the, uh, the Command Throne that I have. I just simply uh, went to those um, vendors at the Cartel Bazaar. And as you guys can see here, I got quite a lot of reputation from opening one Hyper Crate. I got kind of lucky with getting a lot of those artifact level reputations. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, I, I sped up the video. But I, got, uh, I made it to friend rank and then I made it to hero rank. So it actually boosted me up like one rank totally and then it finished off the other rank. So I'll show you guys here. I'm now at the hero rank and I was at the newcomer rank when I started. So it boosted me up like around one and a half ranks which is pretty awesome. And uh, here I'll jump over to the Cartel Bazaar and we'll find the vendor, uh, which is uh, it's the uh, Binary Star Reality vendor. There we go. And this is the vendor and I'll show you guys some of the items that he offers. Uh, as you guys can see, we have like this, basically the Ceremonial Mystics armor set, although it's called something different. Uh, but it's just a reskin of that. And then here we have uh, the Rectified Brawler, also kind of an okay armor set. I mean, you can get the Dynamic Brawler, which looks kind of identical to that. But some of the really rare items here, here this, these are the stylish defender goggles. And if you get to like a really low rank, I think that's just outsider rank, they basically give you those for free. So you can have those for free whenever you need on however many characters you want. That's one of the cool things about these vendors. They each offer some uh, items. And then here we have some of the, like the really awesome item from this vendor is the Imperator's Command Throne. This is the rarest Command Throne in the game. So of course you're going to need Legendary Rank and quite a few Cartel Market Certificates. But if you get it, then you've got yourself like one of the rarest Command Thrones. Uh, this also offers the Stronghold Defender Weapon Series. So um, that's kind of awesome. And here's a, an, a, an example of a really good armor set. You don't need that high of a rank for this one. Uh, and you uh, need only like about six or seven cartel marker certificates and you can get yourself the dramatic extroverts armor set. This is one of my favorite armor sets honestly. Uh, it used to be bronze and it was so popular they actually uh, switched it to being gold rarity now. It's a really nice armor set. Uh, we also have that triumvirate which isn't too nice but here we got like for example more stuff that doesn't require that high of a rank. Uh, we got the dyes. Look how nice that looks, a primary black dye on the Sith Recluse. I'm thinking I'm actually going to pick this up right now and might as well just add it. It doesn't cost too much, only uh, two cartel market certificates and 25,000 credits. So that's one of the benefits of opening these older packs. You get that reputation, you get those cartel market certificates all from the same hyper crate and you can go and try your luck at these vendors and see if you have enough of a rank and enough cartel market certificates to, um, to get it. 
So I'll just kind of throw that in there just for kicks. But anyways, that is the opening, guys. I really like, I'm a big fan of kind of the older cartel packs. They had better RNG. They made it feel better when you opened a, a cartel pack. And uh, I'm happy that they brought this one back. But they don't seem like they're too keen on bringing back the other ones. They kind of like to bring it back in the form of grand packs, which aren't as good. They don't have as good RNG, nor do they give you the reputation or the cartel market certificates. But uh, if you have like, you know, cartel coins saved over, you can of course use the offering credits for referral and clicks and other kinds of stuff to get enough cartel coins to buy some of these hyper crates. Hopefully we'll also monitor the GTN to see if any of these drop in price. So maybe we can buy some of these hyper crates for credits. But the bottom line is now it's kind of your chance to take advantage of these good sales and get some of these older packs in order to, uh, in order to get some of that really awesome stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed this pack opening and got super lucky and got some really nice stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.